Hey what's going on guys my name is Abdul Qadir and welcome to my YouTube channel so in this video we're gonna build the ID card generator using HTML, CSS and JavaScript so we are continuing our JavaScript project series creating an ID card is a great way to learn about HTML, CSS and JavaScript so we, when we fill this form and click on generate button it will create a, an ID card we can download this ID card so if we open it and let me just open my mobile and if we scan it uh, here so if we scan this QR code we get the information so we will include features like generating QR code and allowing users to download their ID card whether you need ID card for a small event or just you want to improve your coding skill this tutorial will help you to achieve that so first of all we have to create the index.html file and give it a title ID card generator then we have to link this styles to CSS Now for the body, give it a background color and open it with the live server. We have to link the external CSS for the styling the page and then we have to link Google Fonts which includes the pop-in forms from the Google Fonts. And then we have to link the script.js and an external JavaScript file for additional functionality. And uh, J jQuery, a popular library for simplifying JavaScript operations. Then we have jQuery QR code to generate QR codes. Then we have HTML to image, converts the HTML elements to images. Right. Now create a div and give it a ID is equal to form container. Contains the form for input badge details like event name, person, destination, company, and access level. So give it a class equal to container then we have a heading h1 batch generator and inside this we have a form and give it a id is equal to batch form so inside this form we have an event name give it an input type is equal to text and required it will be the required field event name so let me just copy this we have event name then we have the designation or person name then we have the designation let me just copy it paste it twice and we have a person name then we have to change this designation and give it the id is equal to designation and label for designation similarly for the company name and id company label for company then we have the access which will be the drop down select option so let me just add the select tag and give it the id is equal to access remove this and give it a required field option we have attendees and then we have the another option of VIP so let me just give it the value here so our form is form structure is done almost now we have a submit button to generate the batch right and give it a type is equal to submit so this is the form and now we have to style this form family light blue for family pop-ins then we have a display flex flexible layer for body then we have a flex traction column tag child elements vertically then we have justified dash content centers to counter center content vertically then we have the align item center center content horizontally then we have the minimum height 100 viewport height minimum height of the viewport then we have margin zero and padding zero now for the container give it a background white background and then we have a padding inside the container and then we have the round corners and for the bulk shadow add a shadow effect on that uh, after that we give it a width full width of its parent 100% maximum width 400 pixel then we have two text line center center the text inside the container now target the h1 inside the container so remove the default margin margin zero then we have to give it a font size large font size then we have a color dark gray after that we have to target this bad uh, form so form uses the flex box to stack the elements stack form element vertically then we have to target this label space above labels margin top 10 pixel then we have margin bottom 
5 pixel give it a font size of 1 mm color triple light gray text color then we have the text line left now for the input type is equal to text and similarly for the select element padding inside inputs and selects so let me just input type is equal to text copy this and then we have to type is equal to text then we have select padding 10 pixel border radius rounded corners then we have light gray border and after that we have a font size 1 em remove the default outline and then we have smooth transition effect after that give it a width full width of a parent container then we have a box sizing border box include padding and border in element width and height now for the focus so blue border on the focus and give it a blue shadow on focus as well so border color this and when we we have a box shadow blue shadow on focus right so after this we have to target uh, style the button so button in the container are styled with the padding space above the uh, button then we have a padding 12 pixel background pink background color then we have a border none and after that border radius 10 pixel then we have a color white and when after that we have a font size 1 em and a cursor pointer smooth background color transition background 0 0.3 second and then we have a width 100 percent so for the hover effect now for the over effect give it a background color change the background color so our form styling is done now we have to create the badge so just for now we give it a style display none to hide this form and now structure the badge so div id is equal to badge and give it a class is equal to badge dash header and uh, inside this div we, we have a height h1 heading and give it a id is equal to badge event so we have coding competition then we have a, another div and give it a class badge dash body and inside this div we have h2 heading uh, h2 heading and give it a id is equal to badge name it's abdul kadir then we have a paragraph software engineer and the quit id is equal to batch designation then we have the s3 heading and give it the id is equal to batch container right and after that we have the qr code uh, section so give it the id div and give it the id is equal to qr code and class batch dash qr and after that create another div and give it a class equal to badge dash footer which is pvip and after this badge we have two buttons right so this is the form badge and then we have a download badge button and another one is create another badge button right so give it a id is equal to down badge and class down badge Similarly for create another badge give it id is equal to create another and class is equal to create another now style this badge So target this dot badge class and give it a fixed width of 280 pixel then we have the rounded corners border radius 10 pixel Then we have a box shadow give it a shadow effect on that then we have the overflow hidden uh hide overflow then we have a background color white then we have to text the align center and the font family popels aerial sans serif then we have to display none so we have to hide this uh when we submit the form then it will need to display so just for now 
uh, I will type display none and comment this out. We will uncomment this later. Now for the badge header class, background color, dark blue background. Then we have a gradient background. So we have a gradient background. And after that we have a padding inside the header 20 pixels. And then white color. Then position relative positioning for pseudo elements, right? And then we have overflow hidden. Now dot badge header before. We have the empty content. Then we have the absolute positioning. And after that background color is white. Width of 12 pixel. Then height of 12 pixel. And then we have a border radius. 20 pixels rounded corners and top 5 pixel position from the top and left center horizontally 50% then transform center horizontally right then we have to target the after empty content and position absolute top minus 4 pixel and left minus 20 pixel position from the left and then we have a width of 40% height of 180% then we have a background background and after that RGPA also uh, radial gradient background then we'll give it a transparent 10.01% and after that give it a background size 10 pixel 10 pixel and after that we have a rotate effect so 52 degree and opacity 0 0.8 slight transparency right so now we have to target the H1 more remove the default margin then we have a font size 18 pixel now we have to target this badge body class padding inside the body 20 pixel then we have a display flex and flex traction column now for the H2 page body H2 we have a margin 0 font size 22 pixel then color check triple 3 then we have to target this P paragraph font size 14 pixel and remove default margin and light gray text color and then we have a bold text after that we have to target this H3 toward badge body H3 blue text color then we have a smaller font size and remove the default margin now for the QR toward badge dash QR so space around the QR margin 20 pixel 0 so now we have to target this badge footer style C footer with a blue background white text and padding the text inside is old and larger right so, uh, so for the paragraph margin 0 and font size 16 pixel then we have a bold text so now we have to style the badge button which is the download badge padding 12 pixel background then we have a border none, border radius 10 pixel, color white and font size 1em then we have a cursor pointer and transition effect background 0 0.3 second so now copy this and give it a class of create another so, uh, so, so let me just remove this and I give it a uh, class of create another class right so we can do this also uh, so our badge is also done now we have to display our form let me just remove this and this is our badge now for the responsiveness we just add some responsiveness so that it will display good on smaller devices as well so this is uh, just for our responsiveness now to hide this uh, badge we have to hide the button so display none 
so display none will hide the button similarly for the badge uncomment this code and here we go so this is now our form now when we submit the form display will be gone and badge will display now remove the hard coded we will fill it through the form now go to the now we have to target the batch form in the script.js file we have to write the javascript code to handle the generation of the qr code and the functionality of the download button so batch form target the form with the id batch form right and to download batch target the element to a button with the id down batch so just target this down badge and similarly for the create another after that we have to add an event listener to the form that triggers when the form is submitted so we have the badge form dot add event listener submit and then we have a function inside this we have an event event dot prevent false of the form from submitting normally which prevents the page reload right and and after that we have to target this id form container and from container we have to hide the form by setting its display to none so when we fill the form we have to uh, display the form none right so when we submit this form it will hide the form right and after that we have to fetch the data from the form so we have a name designation company attendee so we have to target this step by step so for the event name get element by id event name dot value it will store the event name value similarly for the person name designation company and access level let me just quickly change the name then we have a designation and after that we have the company and the access level right so we will get it all the values from the form and it will store in these variables then we have then we have to create a id for each user so this is just to create a unique id for each person right so generate a random id with prefix id and ensure it's a four digit number right notepad start for zero right now use the jquery to update the batch elements with the retrieved uh, form values right we have the, all these values and we have to set all these values in our batch right we have to update the heading batch name designation container and qr code right so use this jquery to update the batch elements with the retrieved form values right so let me just patch event target this id and we have to set this text and event name right so now we have the event name when we fill this for event name it will update it here right Similarly for the name and designation company and access change the badge name and we will get the badge name here then we have the designation we will get it from here and we have a badge container which is the company company and then we have the access level we will update all these values from the form right we will capture it from the form and update our batch now for the generate and display the qr code clears any previous qr code if it is there then we have to generate a new qr code with the batch information right so we have to create qr code with the batch information so text with id we have id right so which is the above this one id we want to show id then we have to give it an event name slash n event 
right and even name let me just give it a even name here copy this even name and paste it here similarly for all these like name we want to show the name as well so copy this and update its name then we have the designation so we have the designation here so when we scan our QR code so all the information will be displayed right so this is the text we, that we have provided the our information right so we have designation then we have the company and company name will get it from this variable company and then we have the access which we'll get from here access copy this access and paste it here now give it a width of 128 and a height of 128 right so after that we have to the show batch and download batch right so we have we right now it is display none right our batch is display none and our button is also display none right so we have to show our batch and hide our we have to show our badge and button right so for this display the badge and download the button we have a uh, id is equal to badge dot css display block so it will display our badge right and similarly for the download button and the create another button right download button and create another display block so now if we fill out this form your name com coding competition then we have a person name and after that we have a designation software engineer company name web solutions then UAP and when we click this we have all this information and it will create a QR code right so now we have to add the create another batch functionality first we have create another dot add event listener so when we click on this it will show the we will need to hide this batch and download batch button and create another batch button right so we have to hide this and we have to display our form right so we have to target this we have a batch form so we have to display it first so we will get it from document dot get element by id batch form form container and we have to style those display is equal to block and we have to reset the form values so if there's any values in the form we have to reset it right so document dot get element by id we have id of batch form uh, dot reset so it will reset our form right let me just type it reset so now when we click on this it will go back to the form and reset our form right so only we have left the download but download batch functionality left so we have a download batch dot add event listener then we have to event dot prevent default and after that we have to add an event listener convert the batch element to a png image using the html2 image library right so just target the badge and create a link html2 image html2 image to png so convert the batch element to png image using the html2 image library and then we have to create a link to download the image and programmatically click it to start the download right so we have to create a link to download the image and programmatically click it to start the download so we will 
create a name dot value plus dot png so it will be our name dot so whatever we name we have we provide the name uh, our image name will be that right so for example if i type abdul kadir then if i download this picture the picture name will be abdul kadir dot png right and if it is there any error so log any error that occurred during the conversion process right so we have done now so just scroll above and we have to forget the at the rate for the company plus so now if we fill this form and generate button our id card will be generated and we can download it so i hope you like this video and you have learned a lot so if you are new to my youtube channel make sure you subscribe so thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video